Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today we're going to be misusing CS6's new oil paint filter to smooth and straighten hair. And we're going to be using a photo of Amy Williton taken by photographer Ruth Rose. And you might recognise this technique if you've done any of our frequency separation tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is create two duplicates of our image, and you can do that with Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. And as usual, I'm going to label the top layer high and the middle layer low. And with the low layer selected, we're going to go to Photoshop's new oil paint filter, which you can find in the filters menu. As you can see, this gives us quite a swirly kind of painty effect. So to just get the blurring effect, we're going to turn the shine right down. And then we've got these two sliders, stylization and cleanliness. And it's worth playing with these to see how the effect changes. And we're going to set these both quite high because we want quite a full on smoothing effect on the hair. And then onto a high layer. And we're going to create a sort of anti. Um, oil painting effects using the apply image function. So select apply image from the image menu and we're going to select layer low, tick the invert box, make sure we've got scale set to 2, the add blending mode and offset 0. And now change the blending mode of this layer to linear light. So now we've got our original image reconstructed and to start removing some of these unwanted coarse frequencies we're going to use the high pass filter on our high layer. So just experiment with different radiuses and you see as we take it up the effect disappears and as we take it down we get more of the oil paint effect coming through. So with a radius of about 1.9 we get the very smooth hair we had underneath with just enough strand detail coming through on top to make it look realistic. And if you want to go more or less realistic, this will be the setting to change. And now just to smooth the effect a bit more, we're going to turn the high layer opacity down to 70%. And because we want this effect to confine to the hair, we're going to put both our layers into a group. And then add a mask to the group. And then invert the mask, which you can do with Command and I for on a Mac, or Control and I for on a PC. And now I've got our original image back, and with a white brush, we can paint the effect back in. And as you can see, we can smooth the hair easily. And this effect also works eerily well on skin, and it may even become a popular skin retouching technique in the future. And there you can see our before and after.